Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Mahi Mukhtar and today I'm going to talk about my presentation topic which is of five name reaction. And I have talked about Naveen Pond of Verlai reaction, Bas Shima's reaction, Forest reaction, then Mears reaction and Inter reaction. Now the last one is left is Saint Mears reaction. Now I'm going to talk about the Saint Mears reaction. And the Saint Mears reaction is basically a chemical reaction through which we can synthesize we can synthesize aryl halide from the aryl diazonium salts using copper salt as regenerative catalyst it was basically named after drogoy sandmeers and the reaction type is a substitution reaction in which in which one atom in the molecule can replace the other molecule so it's an example of the radical nucleophilic aromatic substitution. So nucleophile in the aromatic is basically substituted in this reaction. The semi reaction provides a method through which one can perform a unique transformation on benzene, such as halogenation, cyanation, trifluoromethylation, and hydroxylation. Benzene diazonium chloride is converted to the chlorobenzene, bromobenzene, Cyanobenzene or treatment with the chlo copper chloride, hydrogen bromide, and copper cyanide and potassium cyanide, respectively. This is aniline, and we can get our aryl halide from the aryl diazonium salt using copper salt as a reagent. So, this reaction includes condition and mechanism. And what are the condition and mechanism? I'm going to talk about this. The nitrous acid is typically prepared in situation from the sodium nitrate acid. Falling through protonation step, one equivalent of the water is lost from the nitrous ion, and the other is chlorination, bromination, benzene, and hydroxylation. These are the different conditions for different processes which are occur through the nuclear substitution. Different catalysts, different temperatures, different pressure will be exerted on this. The Sandmeyer reaction is an example of the radical nucleophilic aromatic substitution, which is also known as SRNAR. The radical mechanism for this Sandmeyer reaction is supported by the detection of the viral byproducts. The substitution of the aromatic diazo group with the halogen or the pseudo halon is initiated by the one electron transfer mechanism, which are characterized by, catalyzed by the copper to the aryl radical with the loss of nitrogen gas. So let's have a glimpse over the steps of this mechanism. First, there is the formation of the nitrosomium ions. As you can see that there is the formation of the nitrosomium ions. So we can see that this is the nitrosomium ions. The lone pair on the oxygen attack the hydrogen and the bond is shifted toward the halogen. And then this is basically attached and uh, there is homolytic leverage and thus hydrogen and halogen is separated from each other. Then the lone pair present on the oxygen attack the hydrogen again. And then we again get the hydrogen in excessive amount. And then there is the formation of the nitrosomium a9. This is the basically stable configuration of the nitrosomium ion. The next step, there's the formation of the benzene diazonium ion. This is basically aniline. And what actually happens here, the, the lone pair in the nitrogen attach the nitrogen and then the bond is shifted toward the oxygen. And then on the second step, there is OH2 and the lone pair on the hydrogen attack, attack on the hydrogen, and this is the bond shifted on the hydrogen. This is nitroamine, and then the oxygen attack on the water molecule, and the bond is shifted towards the oxygen. In the next step, basically, the hydrogen is being attacked by the oxygen, and then we get our desired product, which is basically the aryl nitro benzene and this is how as we know that our desired product is aryl 
halogen. This is basically benzonium ion. This is basically benzene diazonium ion. So in the next step, there is a single electron transfer. In the single electron transfer, we have to get our desired product, which is basically aryl halide. So aryl halide can also be gained through a single electron transfer. This can be done when the halogen is added. This can be done when the copper halide is added. This, there is a single electron transfer, and then we get through reductive elimination of the copper three or direct halogen atom or group transfer. And then we get our aryl hydrogen. So according to the single electron transfer, we have prepared our aryl halide. The synthetic application of this reaction are through which we can prepare our halogenation, cyanation, hydroxylation, trifluoromethylation, and triazenine. This is our the variation of the Senmi reaction have been developed to fit the multiple synthetic application. These reactions are typically proceed through the formation of aryl diazonium salt, followed by the reduction of the copper salt to yield the substituted arene. Under the catalyst copper chloride, copper bromide, copper cyanide, we get our chloride, bromide, and cyanide as a substitute on the benzene. So this is how it is of great importance.